Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to review this Great Value Sugar-Free Syrup. Um, of course, you know where I got it. And I think it was a couple of bucks. I, I can't remember. Um, I, I don't buy sugar-free anything because I know about it. I know it's uh, it can be worse than the original product. But I decided to try it. I, want, I wanted to just see. So... We're going to get into the macros here, the nutrition facts. Okay, that's the back, if you want to pause that. Okay. I almost got um, the Aunt Jemima light, but then I, I thought, let me try this sugar-free and see what this is all about. I do know and realize, you guys, that these ingredients are really bad, but, um, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, you got to eat everything and drink everything in moderation, you know, um, the regular product, whether it's Aunt Jemima, um, Fancy Syrup, or Mrs. Butterworth, that stuff is bad too. You just got to eat it in mod moderation. So, uh, I'm not saying I approve of sugar-free stuff. Please don't come at me. But I just wanted to try it and see, okay? So, I've never had this before. So, we're going to try it now. Here's the consistency. It's a little light. It's not the heavy syrup, whatever. And I made a couple of uh, chaffles, uh, keto chaffles, just for the video. I mean, I didn't care if they didn't look good or whatever. It's just for the video. Okay, first of all, let me tell you about the smell. The smell reminds me of opening a fresh pack of powdered pudding. You know that little box that you buy, the vanilla pudding or the banana pudding? That's what it smells like when you when you open the box and you get that package out and you tear it and you get that smell. That's what it smells like. It smells good, okay? Um, but it smells like that powder. Um, but when I said uh, banana uh, powder pudding, I, it's not going to smell like bananas. I'm saying it smells like the powder something in there that makes it smell, you know, good like that. Um, the taste, we're, we're going to see here. I already opened it and everything. Yeah, it's, when I pour it, it you got to be careful because it's a little light. Okay, it's not the heavy Aunt Jemima syrup. I know that's a lot, but... Okay, we're going to dig in. Yeah, that was a lot that I put on. Shouldn't have done that. It's all right, though. I'll just pour some out later. I guess I was I got carried away because I was sh trying to show you guys the texture. It's definitely light, not very sweet. You guys, it's okay. I'm getting a little bit of, of some kind of syrup, but I'm, I'm getting that, again, back to that, a lot of you may, may not see this, but I do. I'm getting that vanilla powdered pudding taste. Not, not the pudding taste afterwards, after you add the milk and all this other stuff. It's like if you taste the powder. That's what I'm getting from the syrup. But it's okay. I'm just happy that it doesn't taste like cough syrup, like the Hershey's chocolate syrup. I ha I made a video on that if you want to go check that out. That stuff tasted horrible. It tasted like pure cough syrup, the cough syrup that we had as kids. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from the syrup. It's like you took that vanilla pudding powder and mixed it with some water. That's what I'm getting. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I try to be as detailed as I could, you guys. Um, would I buy this again? No. I'm not the one to eat this stuff all the time, so I think I'm just going to stick with Aunt Jemima, or I'll try Mrs. Butterworth's next. If you can recommend a good syrup that's not going to break the bank, please let me know. But I won't be, I won't be getting this syrup again, you know. 
Um, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.